And so you started as a de- development career. You started coding, you did some gigs, and then you shifted to Web3 security. I wanted to ask in the middle between development career to Web3 security, um, did you learn about traditional hacking, like Web2 hacking, like um, hacking uh, personal computers or websites like SQL injection, remote code execution, or you directly shifted to Web3 security? I knew about like all of the standard attack vectors that you would have in a normal like a Web2 environment because like I was a developer, I needed to make sure that those things don't happen on the stuff I wrote. Uh, so yes, I knew how to like... Uh, uh, secure myself against them, per se. Like, I uh, did all of that stuff that you need to do on the content to make sure someone cannot hijack your token or uh, something else. So uh, there cannot be any, like, malicious, uh, like, uh, um, XML, let's say, like, some, some sort of a uh, thing that they execute on your, like, uh, content. Uh, like... Yeah, all of the normal stuff. Like essentially, I like knew about the normal developer stuff, and uh, I didn't know much about why they happened and stuff like that. Like the only stuff that I was a little more deep into were like, as you said, SQL injections. Just because I was very like into like doing business logic and not that much front end. Like I'm a very uh, like back end guy. I'd say like this is what I like doing most. I see. So you didn't learn cybersecurity in particular or hacking, but because you were writing code, you wanted to make sure that the code is safe. So you learn some best practices. If it's like backend security or frontend security, if it's like cross-site scripting, SQL injection, to make sure that your code is not vulnerable. But you never learned like how to hack websites or like uh, how to exploit things. Yes. Essentially, like the first, the furthest I went was like trying to like inject some, uh, like a little SQL scripts on, like some inputs uh, here and there. But that was it. I didn't do much other than that. And then something truly amazing happened. You uh, found Pashov's community, right? So you're a Bulgarian. Pashov is also Bulgarian, and you joined Pashov's uh, community. And by joining the community, uh, can you tell us about the experience of like how you find Pashov's community, when it happened, and just tell us about the story? So it was a very big coincidence, uh, I'd say. Like I like found him through his YouTube channel, essentially. Uh, I got recommended one of his videos. I like started like watching some of his stuff. Then I like looked at the description and uh, it said uh, join my Discord community for like IT people in Bulgaria. I joined it and uh, like started getting to know the people there. Uh, and uh, yes, that's like how I got into it. But uh, like that was around October of 2022, uh, and then uh, like he that that was the period that he just started like going into security as well. Like I believe he was he had just left his job and started like working uh, full time security, and uh, uh, he started preaching about it in like the Discord channel. Uh, and again, that's like October slash November of 2022. Uh, but I didn't listen to him essentially. Like I was too carried away with like doing my uh consulting gigs I had. Like I just stayed there and thought like it's a good job. I like doing it. That's it. And didn't think much of what Pashov was saying. Yes, I like locked into what Solidity is and what blockchain is, but I didn't know much other than the basis. Like I wasn't particularly like uh educated in that trick